Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm bringing back the Use Your Books series. I've been wanting to do this forever. I decided this morning I was going to make a little title card for it because then I will put it back into regular rotation because it's in my title card stack here. <laughs> so that being said, um, I'll give you a reminder about what Use Your Books is all about. I do have a playlist, I think, and if not, I will create one when I upload this video um, with these... Uh, with these videos. So let me get into it. Um, so use your books is all about exactly what it says in two different ways. How many books and magazines do you own that are filled with wonderful ideas? And you know, you read them, you always intend to give something a try. But instead, that book or magazine just lives on a shelf in your house somewhere. So that is 100% me. So my plan is twofold. One, go through and read the book. Um, then go through, you know, sticking all the things that you would like to try some version of yourself, then do them. Then after you've done them, use the physical book to make stuff like the pictures, whatever inside here. And then it's not on my shelf. It's been turned into useful things. And that's the plan. Okay. So today I am using um, a Somerset Studio, which I've been using in the past videos for a while now. This is from November, December 2012. And I, I really like these magazines. Um, so we're taking inspiration today from this Anne Vargas uh, project called Lineage, Joy and Compassion. Um, so this is a really lovely artist who grew up in Stockholm um, and her work is really nice. It's it's layering. It's like, you know, these busts are, are the main theme that I want to go with. Um, and then using scraps and other bits to kind of, you know, do something interesting with them. Okay. So you'll see here, she sometimes adds hands and sometimes she doesn't. And, um, you know, she layers them. She's doing some uh, painting in the background, sometimes like with white, white paint or gesso overneath uh, or oh, overneath. Is that a new word? On top of... <laughs> what is wrong with me today um the the existing picture that she uses in the background so that is the gist of the article and that's what i'm going to do so she does her work with acrylic paint white and buttermilk she uses glue stick on art panels or plaques wood or masonite colored pencils fabric scraps images like antique photos birds flowers butterflies um, lace that sort of stuff so those are the kind of some of the things that she recommends but let's just go through the project um, but I do have also a goodie for you that I was working on in preparation for this project so I will be offering um for my patreons this will be provided to you already um, but I will also be putting these busts on Kofi so this will be a two-page digital of just these lovely whimsical hand-drawn um, colored ladies busts and they're fun and like I said they're whimsical they're all different there's sort of this size which are like you know an inch and a half um, and then there's a larger size a few in a larger size that are more like three inches so it kind of gives you options if you want a larger focal point on like a journal card or you want like these little girls for making like your paper dolls most of them have you know something on the neck some of them I've just given a neck just a couple of them and so you can do a collar whatever um, and yeah so that is the little collection and they're just called whimsical busts um, so that's them and and it's a two page uh, digital. So I will pop it on my Kofi, which is linked down below and it will be on Patreon for those of you who are already Patreons of mine. Um, let me think what is to, what, what's the first thing we need to do? So I think probably creating a background of sorts would be the best thing to get started. So let's start with this folder. And I'm just going to, of cut it down into a nice shape that we can work with. And then we'll make um, a 
I'll do two pieces today. Why not? I think that's a good size. All right. So now let's create some backgrounds here with um, scraps, 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 scraps. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just immediately want to like set a bit of a basis for the background needing to look old. Um, and I'm going to do that actually just by gluing down one of the book pages from the glue book that I'm using, which is from an old like early 1900s um, mechanical mechanics manual, but it's going to give that nice like old paper look. So we'll cut this out. I totally switched my desk around today. So I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> uh, like the back of my desk, I, I have like all this stuff that used to be on one side and I just flipped it um, because I felt like it was too hard to reach some of the things that I use a little more frequently. I had all the stuff that I don't use that frequently kind of here and close to me, but then stuff that I need to grab all the time was way over there. That side of my desk has, for whatever reason, I've like organized it so I'm on this two thirds rather than the other third over there. So I'm trying to like figure out what will work better. I don't want diagrams really. I just want, well, that's kind of cool. You know, it doesn't actually matter because I'm going to be putting more scraps and things over it. So we just, all we're doing is creating an older looking piece of paper. So tell me how your day is going. Mine's going okay. I, uh, I was off for spring break with my kids last week and so I'm kind of like paying the price of my absence at work but like it's not too too bad I have recently um assigned one of my uh PMs or my my project people to some of my responsibilities that I uh was always doing on top of like my my new role and so it's kind of nice to finally feel like I've transitioned something away and I'm kind of just getting used to not having to carry the bulk of that too. Um, it's making a little difference. It's not the biggest thing that I deal with, but it's one thing and I'll take it. So yeah. All right. So we have backgrounds. That's good. Now let's add some interest to the backgrounds. Um, we'll do one at a time. So. I need to get into my scraps here. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, let's just grab one great big scary handful of my scraps. <laughs> my scraps. <sighs> I need to like let some things go. I really do. It's just, it's madness. This is some pretty wrapping paper. So let's add that to one of them. It's cool. So it goes back to scrap Hades over there. Why am I gluing on top of this? I didn't see it there because I've got this paper that's the same. <laughs> oh, geez. It's okay. What else do I want to put on there? Not that. That's too thick. This might be nice. Let's do some of this. edges that are white. Just some scraps from my jelly plate. Or roll off paint I should say. Okay, and we'll glue this one down. Okay, 
Okay, so that's going to give a little something in the background, right? So it was kind of cute. Yesterday I, I printed out this uh, really cool like handout from, there's a website called um, Big Life Journal and they also make, they, they make like journals for kids and for adults that are kind of about like mindfulness and, you know, trying to raise your kids level of confidence in themselves. It asks a lot of good questions, you know, sometimes that's stuff that we forget to ask as parents and it's nice to have those helpful reminders. And so it was this page about um, what to do if somebody makes you feel small and then you know it explains a little about what being made to feel small is like being told that your idea is dumb or something like that right and it gave a whole bunch of different ways to handle that um, and respond to it and so it was really nice and like I shared it with my daughter and we talked about it and um, you know it starts with taking a deep breath right and then it was funny because she said, you know, I want to, can I take this to school and show it to my teacher? And I said, of course. So she took it and she told me yesterday, her teacher did a whole lesson to the class using that handout. And I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> so I felt kind of good about that. I was like, yeah, we're contributing to good things. Ooh, look at this beautiful, how'd that even get in my scraps? What's going on? Look at that. That's from my lovely Mary Ellen, I think. I'm going to just put that over here. See? Go through your scraps because you never know what things live in there. I mean, both good and bad in my case, I'm sure, but so far nothing has bit my fingers, so we're okay. Well, that's pretty. Maybe we'll use that. This is from a Brazilian, um, like, needlework sheet. I got these big ones at the thrift store one day. It was kind of cool. So let's put that here. Then I am going to go and get some paint because I want to go with like the, the milky paint kind of idea with this. And I'm going to keep my scraps over here because I may use some things in the whole collage situation with these um, after I paint on here. So let me grab my paint. So the paint that I want to use is actually sea spray. It's this really light bluey green color. And it uh, creates a nice sort of colored but neutral sort of tone. It's very light. So then I'll throw some water in there to just water it down a bit. And we'll give it a stir. I do have some leftover paint in there. I don't know if it will get reactivated or not, but that's fine. I think I might just water this a little more because I want it to be a little milky. Yeah, that's good. So then we're just going to go over the whole surface here. And if you find like, mm, it's a little too, you know, it's, it's not like milky, it's just too thin. You can add more paint. If it's still too thick, you can add more water. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm okay so far with this. What my, what I might do actually is a little more paint because I'm thinking about, um, I don't want the background to be too busy because I have to have her show up well. And with the writing on here, maybe that might be a little noisy. Yeah, I think I still need more paint. Maybe it was fine the first time <laughs> before I added the water. The second helping of water. Let's see where this takes us. That's a little better. And you can do more than one coat too if you want to just like layer it up slowly so that you feel like you're not overwhelming yourself not knowing how thick your paint's going to get. I could probably stand to use a larger brush too, but that's what I have in my hand at the moment. But I think the paint consistency is good now. Yep. 
You can also add like some texture paste or some stenciling at this stage in the background as, as well if you want. Okay, so that one's good. I'm happy with the look of that. This paper. Now this one's a little bit brighter, so I might need to... Actually, no, it's okay. I don't need to thicken up the paint anymore. So my daughter does not have anything to do tonight, class-wise, which is great. So I'm going to think about what I want to do. The weather's kind of gloomy today. It was cold. It's been very cold the last couple of days. After like summer, now it's like strange, cold, spring, wintery feel again. We're getting snow in some parts around here, but not right where I am at the moment. Okay. Okay, so I think that's mostly good to go. So I will let these dry for just a bit. They're not going to take very long because it's quite a thin paint layer. So I'll just set them aside and let them dry. Do a little cleanup and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're dry. Now we need to find, let's just go with this girl right here because I just like her. So we'll put her here. And I think for this first one, I want to play a little bit with fabric rather than just paper. So I've got this fabric that has these lovely little leaves on it, or trees rather. Um, and then I've got some of my eco printed scrap here. And I think I want that to kind of be the background of the dress um, that I will make for her. So I'm just going to tear it away. A little bit. Okay. I need to kind of shape this now um, into what I want it to do. So her, I want to go here. I need to cut like an angle. Oh, not with these terrible scissors. Where's my actual fabric scissors? Good, good. Okay, let's cut this. Okay, put her where I want her head to go. That will get the start here. That needs to line up there. Then I need to cut a little corner. Why don't I just glue her to the actual fabric so that I know where I want her to go. I'm just going to tack things with a uh, glue stick. It's, it's not like critical at this point. Um, so put her on here so she lines up with her dress. Okay. Then actually I can glue her to the card I think too. We'll just do a little. I don't know that. Oh hush. This uh device behind me here is making noise. Nobody asked you, lady. Okay. Um, clip that corner. All right. Now I want this dress to kind of run right off the edge. So I'll cut it a little longer than the card. And I think I'll actually also glue it down. And then I'm going to pull this up um, and put some good glue on it, like some good art glitter glue on the back of this. Because now we know where we want it to go. Mm. 
Hmm. Just looking at this diagram back here. I like that. And you're giving me ideas. true nature of using our books. I want to use this on here as a bit of a background. Um, I don't need all the pieces that are connected to it though. <laughs> we'll just wrap it because I'm probably going to stitch on these and then need to back this anyhow. <clears throat> yeah. It's right there at that edge. to like shape it the same as the dress. Right. Now I think um, I need arms of some kind and while I was waiting on these to dry I fussy cut out this little bird. So I think, see this old, this is like an old piece of paper from a photo album, like an ancient photo album. And I think I'm going to create sort of simplified hands and arms for her. Just little ones, little stringy arms that will go here. She's going to be holding this little bird. And then I need one more arm. And it needs to go the other way. That one might be a little too skinny. <laughs> that looks like she had some kind of a strange... this again oh, I gotta go this way though it's because it's my opposite like okay so hand keep the wrist keep the arm a little wider there we go round the shoulder good because what I'm looking for is just sort of like a freeform shape of these little arms to hold our dear bird yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's get those glued down. Actually, that needs to come over here, right? Yeah. And I think I'll round that shoulder a little because I made it pretty, pretty pointy. I need more glue on here. That's because I moved it. There we go. That's better. Do I want the bird under her arm, maybe? Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Good. 
Good, good. All right, so that's all down. Now, I'm going to cut the excess fabric from here. All right, let's look at the picture again. So maybe something else of interest is needed here in the background. Yeah, maybe. And then we also have to decide if we want any any paint over, any paint to intersect on her. I don't think so. I think I kind of like that as is, um, but I'm going to grab something else. Um, possibly here, possibly I need to get up. This frame. I kind of like that frame there, but I would want something in it, but I'm not sure what. What if it was like an ode to the fabric of her dress? Would that look cool? Oh yeah, it would. Okay. So. <clears throat> we need this to get a little bit perfect here. Short, perfect. So it's not showing from behind the frame. Perfect. Okay. So then all we got to do is glue the frame around. I'll just pick this up. Um, actually, I'll put the fabric on first. And we want it to go which way? Doesn't matter on there. Good. Yep. So now we'll glue the rest. Just kind of makes your eye move around a little. Okay. And then I'm just going to grab one thing. So the one thing I wanted to grab was a vintage photo, but I don't actually think it has a place in here with this. So we'll set that aside. Um, however, I might use the leaf or the heart. Hmm. I'm going to go with the leaf on here. This is from a 49 and Market uh, paper collection. And I think it will give me the pop of color I'm looking for that will also like stand up to her cheeks a bit. I might pull that off. <laughs> I'm going to uh, use them separately. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that like that. She'll be holding like some leaves and then there'll be a leaf there. Hmm. Okay, let's glue those down.
these ones here that she's holding. Alright, so I want to actually stitch this bit on. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine, stitch this bit on, and I'm also going to stitch around this entirely. Um, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so she's all stitched around, and I'm leaving a few little threads here. I used black, I zigzagged over that, and it's just a super fun little piece. So I'm going to back this, but I don't need to do it right now with you. Um, I will instead work on the other one. So let's do this one while we're here anyways, because why not? Um, it's fun. <clears throat> I don't think we're too bad on time. I'm gonna just get rid of that. Okay, so we need another of our girls here. Which one do I want to use this time around? Oh, I like her. Oh yeah, I like her a lot. Okay, let's go with her. Use a paper dress this time. It's a pretty paper. Let's go with that. So I'm actually just going to glue her I think on here maybe right there actually no I won't do that um that's a bad idea let's glue her here so this is where I want her to be then let's just try to cut a shape that makes sense good and then what I'll do is um I'm gonna create a sleeve maybe we'll see how that looks if I don't like the sleeve I'll get rid of it But I think we need a second sleeve too. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can create a second sleeve. But let's glue this down. I know I don't need the whole bottom, so I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom with glue. I'll just use my art glitter glue because I'll glue that down well on that side and then let's take this off maybe this sleeve is poofy oh, but I did it the wrong way no see that would be this side not this side why am I allowed to do things although that could be cool yay maybe let's see if we have enough room to make a poofy sleeve on this side don't think so although I do still have a big scrap of this so if there was a poofy sleeve on this side I am so challenged with like cutting things when they're like they go this way it's like I need to do it this way because I'm right-handed does that make any sense at all <laughs> to anyone there let's see do we like that or oh geez did I already glue it there we go or do we like that better Hmm. I'm gonna go with this yeah because that was my intention from the beginning was to do the sleeve like that I'm 
Yeah, right like that. And then I'm just going to trim it kind of this way because I want to give her like a hand. Um, where did I put that weird paper? Actually, I'll use a different one maybe. I'll use this. This is my favorite way to do like whimsical little hands, almost like a little mitten. <laughs> For those of you who have my, uh, any of my creatures, my digital creatures that I sell on Etsy, you'll see how I often draw hands this way because I just like how it looks. And when you're working so small, it's like easier than trying to do like a whole hand. Tiny hands is not my specialty. Yeah, so she could be kind of hanging her hand in that funny way like that, like she sort of... Okay, so now what do we want to do with her to make her more interesting? Got this jelly print. Kind of cool. I think this is on rice paper, so if we were to glue it, it would probably look kind of cool. How see-through does it get when it's glued? Mm, not that see-through. Okay, I don't want to do that. Never mind, never mind. I might cut some um, of the shapes out though because I just like the colors. Those look really cool. Maybe one more so we have a nice uneven number of them. Okay. Now with that vintage picture that we have here, would it play a role on here at all? I wonder if I put it in a frame. I liked how those frames looked. Let me see what frames I have here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she could be kind of looking at it. Yep. We'll just see what frame would look better. That one kind of blends in a little. That one's a little more delicate. Hmm. Hard to tell with the background. I'd have to cut the picture into that. I think that might be the one though. Let's go with it and, and not second guess our decisions because our decisions rule, right? We're awesome at decisions. <laughs> And then I also have this. Um, she could be holding this like sprig of giant flowers, maybe. We'll see. It might not work. We'll see. <clears throat> the first project is going to be the tough one. And that is getting this uh, cut out. So my plan is just mark it up with a pencil. Then cut a little bigger than what we marked so that you have, you know, like a, a gluing allowance. Okay. Yep. Okay. 
now let's glue adorable. I don't know if you can see but it's like there's these two little girls and this deer. This is a picture from the 1930s. Okay. <clears throat> put it down here and I had initially thought I would have it hanging off but I don't want to I want the whole thing right there beauty now we can consider these flowers if we would want her to have them and then those polka dotty things like they would just be like a facet of the background sort of yeah okay let's glue those on paper because <laughs> it's getting too sticky. That one right under her hair a bit. There we go. Then we'll glue her hair back down. then um, the flowers, right? Yeah, I think about there is good. Let me clean this up and I'll show you these two completed pieces. Okay, so here we are with our two great pieces, our ladies. They're so cute. I love them. Um, so let's take a look again at our project that inspired all of this. Um, this was from the Somerset Lineage, Joy and Compassion by Anne Vargas. So my take on her, on her style. I think it's fun. I, uh, I definitely am happy that I kept this and used my book. So that is it for me for today for Use Your Books. Let me know your thoughts on this series. Hopefully you like it because I would definitely like to get back to doing it. Um, and also I will link below in the description box where you can get these busts. Um, that's it for me. So thanks for hanging out with me. Bye for now.